What up people, how's it going? This is Bharat and welcome back to yet another video with the Code Among channel. If you're new here, my name is Bharat and I am actually making a lot of programming tutorial videos. So if you're interested to watch the rest of this video, make sure to first subscribe to the channel and continuing on with this uh, topic for this video. Well, the important topic for this video is how hard is data structures and algorithms and how you can not make my five mistakes and make sure that you learn it much more efficiently as well as faster. As usual, if you guys have any questions, I'm available on LinkedIn as well as Instagram. You can check me out there, hit me up for a DM and I'll be answering you guys within one or two days. All right, important mistake that you should not as I've written here is that when you go in and start learning programming, the major mistake that a lot of people do is that they either follow a very poor book or they either follow very poor course material or even either maybe go for a very substandard kind of a course. The major problem with these type of things is that when you go through learning with very uh, improper or even a poor material, you will not understand the concept. Not just that, you will understand it wrongly and in the upcoming days or the upcoming months, in even the future, when you are again going to be implementing that, you will do it with a lot of mistakes. So I would highly recommend you guys to go and stick with a good type of a course or even a good proper uh, programming book where the concepts are very clear and you also will stick to it much more uh, understand it much more easily. So that's my first number one mistake which I did which was to stick to some uh, substandard materials in my college days and I couldn't understand what it was and eventually I learned that it was the mistake of the material that I was following and I corrected it and I started following good courses on YouTube, many paid courses and I'm successfully now able to understand a lot of things and implement it as well. All right, now the second point that I've written is the major mistakes that a lot of people do. If you're going to be doing a computer science engineering degree, there is high chance that you'll be implementing a lot of programming and data structures, uh, even from the first semester itself. And what major mistakes people do is that they understand that they try to learn it just for the sake of examinations and memorize a lot of algorithms. The biggest problem with this is that not just you are making sure, not just, not only that you're not learning it, but at the same time, you are making a grave mistake of uh, learning it wrongly. Important memories, uh, memorization techniques have been employed uh, in order to learn algorithms. One of which I very frequently followed in my college days was to learn the algorithm line by line in terms of theory. Like you understand, let's say the for loop is here, there's an if block here, there's a for loop here. I'll write it in short forms for if and for and I'll just implement it and write it on paper. So there's just memory techniques that I followed which did not help me in any way. I did not understand algorithms. And the months and uh, years later when I was preparing for my interviews and I was trying to learn data success and algorithms, I understood it was a very huge mistake because not only did I not learn the algorithm, I made sure that made sure to forget what the memory memorized algorithm was completely and had to spend a lot of amount of time in understanding what again it was from scratch. So do not do that. In in case you're stuck with memorize, uh, memorizing or if you have uh, examinations coming up and you want to memorize it so that you want to crack that examination, you are making a big mistake. Start pulling back and start learning what the algorithm says. Start from basic pseudo code and as you progress forward, you understand what the algorithm does, what is it that you should be doing and how you can formulate your own code for that. And that will help you in a lot of ways possible in the upcoming uh, future, not just for your college, but even when you're becoming a software developer, you will be helping a lot of people understand algorithms much faster and also easily. Alright guys, spare, spare me one minute of your time to talk about the code shift along with Unacademy's par partnership wherein they have come up with a very comprehensive uh, competitive programming series. So this series is consisting of a lot of different modules which are free classes plus live classes which you can take up at own time. You should go to unacademy.com and find the competitive programming section. You will find that the course is taught by a lot of experts and not just some hook and crook on the, on the road. So you'll be able to get a complete live class uh, session as well as at the same time you'll also be able to get a uh, practice test which you can use to learn your data structures and algorithms completely. On the other hand, if you are interested in going for subscription itself, you'll find that the cost of it is about 6,000 per month going to about 33,000 per year. I would highly recommend you guys to go for the six month or the 12 month subscription model because not only do you get the entire thing for a less than 2700 rupees per month, you also go for the EMI option through that. Now, if you're thinking that this money is too much and I cannot be able to pay it, don't worry because you can use my referral code or the referral code I've given in the description below to use and you'll get 10% off on your purchase. You'll be able to also use the subscription at any time, at any point you want in the next one year. So you can learn it at your own pace 
follow the live classes, ask your questions and be able to understand the data structures and algorithms concepts much more clearly. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. All right, third point I have written here is to understand just the theory. Do not understand just the theory of an algorithm. One of the important algorithms that I still remember to date is the dice stress algorithm, which is a path finding algorithm. Dice stress is a very important algorithm that you learn as part of your programming and data structures. And what important thing that uh, you learn as part of the algorithm is that you start from point A and you, you're going to reach point B. This point A to point B is actually implementing, uh, is actually a very important, important use case scenario in our real life as well. I want to travel from point A to point B. How do I reach it faster? How do I reach it in short amount of time? So all of these are important use cases that you can put inside and you can understand the theory. But once you have understand, understood the theory, do you have the ability to write it into code, which is going to be translating your theory knowledge into coding knowledge is the most important uh, hurdle which you have to cross. Now, this hurdle is difficult in itself because you have to first understand the theory, what does the Dijkstra's algorithm say, and pick it up from that and implement it in form of code. Huge mistakes, again, I'm going to reiterate my first point, making uh, first point of using poor course material is that theory will be in one way, the code will be in another way. That is because all of these poor materials pick up something in the sake of uh, theory alone from one book and they pick the code from some other book and they put it in and they just teach you these two uh, separately and what you end up again doing is memorizing the code which is not going to help you in any way. So you have to be picking up a good material where it has the theory and at the same time translating the theory into code which you can understand and you should be able to push yourself to understand that stage. In, if you don't do that, you will be stuck with theory, no coding knowledge at all and again you will fail uh, in your upcoming future when you are preparing for a software developer engineer interview, a lot of things will eventually stack up and you will fail. So do not do that. Alright, again, now in this video title was how hard is programming and data structures or how hard was algorithms and data structures. Now, if you have that opinion, if you click this video, definitely you will be having that opinion is that algorithms and data structures are difficult. Uh, when you have that opinion, even before you begin something, you are crossing a mental hurdle as well. So do not do that in terms of uh, listening to a lot of people cry that uh, algorithm is just, it was very difficult. I could not pass this exam in my college. I could not pass this exam in my uh, or my course. So these things actually put so much pressure in you even before you begin. Take it in your own stride. Not everybody can become a good software developer. It requires analytical portion of your brain to work as well. But you can still activate that portion of your brain by implementing by doing a lot of things outside the scope of computer science. And at the same time, you can also try to push yourself to learn it and not listen to naysayers. And this is a very important point which I make for a lot of people who are my juniors who are asking me about this in Instagram and uh, LinkedIn. I tell them, do not worry about what is going to be the outcome of it. Just to think about what is the first step that you have to take in order to start learning the programming data structures. Well, if you start do, doing that, eventually you will end up going uh, much more in a step-by-step -step manner rather than flying from one step to another. So again, in, importance of dice test algorithm. All right, final point, uh, this might seem a little bit difficult to take in, but in the previous video, I talked about why a lot of people uh, talk about data structures and algorithms, but they don't even use it in real world. That is true even for today and I have learned about digestive algorithms but I also know it by heart by now. I can implement it in a, uh, in a crack of a second because I understood the theory that well but even today I, I haven't implemented it in actual project or I haven't implemented it in my work. I haven't implemented it in terms of, uh, uh, in terms of building a sort of complete project. No, I have never done that. I have used data structures, I have used a lot of different algorithms. But all of these have been abstracted methods that are sent a much more thing for me to go and implement. Rather, I have created my own algorithms, but I have not written or rewritten something that's already been written. That is because there's a very important saying in the software world, which is to stop reinventing the wheel. You needn't reinvent the wheel for everything that you do in your software career. So that means that once you learn these concepts, it's going to stick with you, it's going to be there for you for a long time, but not a lot of people go ahead and implement it unless they are doing it for academic purposes. So stop putting too much pressure on yourself that you unless you learn data structures and algorithms, you cannot become a software engineer 
or you cannot become a computer science engineer yes for to some extent it is very important the basics of data structures the basics of algorithms very 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 important but not all of these complex uh, pathfinding visualization algorithms or even to some extent you will learn a lot of different uh, time tracking algorithms on all of these speed testing algorithms which might not be so useful in terms of implementing so don't put too much pressure on yourself all right so that's it for this video hope you guys liked it if you did don't forget to like this video and uh, comment on what you want me to talk next i have a packed schedule for december i have 10 video ideas so i might be implementing five to six from that and if for the rest of my six to uh, seven videos i will be happy to talk about data structures and algorithms talk the concepts of it and the talks the talk the theory of it as well so if you guys want me to do it drop what algorithm you want me to talk about or what data structures you want me to talk about and i'll be happy to do that for you guys in this video uh, in this channel so let me meet you guys in the upcoming videos i have very interesting things to talk about as well uh until then it's Bharat. peace out have a super awesome day